All right, page 314 in your book. It's the chapter review, and I believe I have us doing all the way through only, did I do only to 16? 17. One to 17. Okay, so we're only going to do 217 today. All right, so on one through 10, these will be relatively pretty simple. All you have to do is be able to find the equivalent item for the, the uh, problem. So when we look at that first one, I'm gonna pin myself as the main video. Okay, so you guys can see me. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the problem up here, which is, 42%, okay? And so what they want us to do is think, how is this written as a decimal? How is this written as a fraction? And then we match it with the correct letter over there, okay? So if I was to write this as a decimal, I remember my decimal on a fraction, if there isn't one, starts over here and I move it to the left two places. So if it was the decimal answer, it would be 0.42. So if I look at the letter answers over there, I do not see 0.42 on there, right? So you should probably not see 0.42 as one of the letter answers either. So that means it's a fraction. Remember, when I have 42%, that's like saying 42 per 100, okay? So then, we have to reduce this down. They're both even numbers. So guess what? Two will divide into both of those. So half of 42 is 21 and half of 100 is 50. Now look over there. If you have an answer, somebody shout it out or send it. E. E, yes. So number one, the answer is E. Okay, Isabel says, yes, please. I'm gonna to try to send her the code real quick here. Everybody hang still. Uh, okay, go here. My account, go to meetings. Come on, working. There we go. Today. Comma. All right. Almost there, guys. All right, I sent that to Isabel. Maybe she'll get on with us. Okay, let's see, where are we at? There you guys are. Got to move my screens around. Okay, we're on to number two. Did anybody find the answer while I was uh, emailing uh, Isabel? That was three-fifths. Does anyone remember how we change a fraction back into a percent or a decimal? Okay, I'll tell you. Here's how you do it. You take the top number and divide it by the bottom number. Okay, add a decimal since five doesn't go into three evenly or three is not large enough. We have to add a decimal, add a zero. And then how many times does five go into 30? That's right, at least six times. So I get the answer, my decimal answer is 0.6. What would my percentage answer be then? That means I have to take my decimal and move it to the right two places. 60%. 60%. Is there a 60% over there? Yeah. Yep, it's D, right? So number two, the answer is D. Okay, number three, moving right along. 
seven eighths. Okay, once again, we have to change that into a decimal answer. So, eight goes into 70, not quite nine times, goes eight. Eight times eight is 64. When we subtract 64 from 70, we get six. Add a zero, bring it down. Eight goes into 60. Seven times. Eight times seven is 56. When we subtract 56 from 60, we get four. Bring one more zero down. Eight goes into 40. Five times. Is there a decimal that's 0.875 over there? No. What would the percentage be? Well, if we move our decimal to the right twice, one, two. 87.5%. 87.5%, and that letter is H. So the answer to number three, H. All right, number four. Oh, Isabel's trying again. Okay. Oh, I got the chat. Oh, there we go. Ethan's sending me divide 60. Good job, Ethan. I'm checking the, the chat now. Sorry. Uh, let me, Isabel's still saying. Okay, still isn't working. I'll tell her. All right, okay, now we're back to number four. Did anybody figure that one out? Was there a .98 over there? No, they wouldn't make it that easy on us. We have to go and do it as a fraction. So 98 over 100. And then we have to reduce that down. They're both even. Half of uh, 100 is 50. Well, 98's almost close to, to 100. Half of 98, I bet you that's 49. Do we have one of those, 49 out of 50? Letter A, Ethan says, and he's right. So number four, the answer is A. Okay, number five, we're running out of choices. Five is 178%. So if I move the decimal two places, I should have 1.78, but they didn't give us that. Of course they didn't. So remember, when you do a percent that has over 100, the first number becomes a whole number. So that one in the hundreds place becomes just one, and then we can do the 78 over 100 like that. Okay, and then we reduce that down. Okay, so half of 100 is 50 again. And half of 78 will be, let's see, we got choices between K and M. It's K. It's K, yes it is. So one and 39 over 50, that's number five. You can kind of limit your possibilities by looking at that. Okay, let's move on. Number six, 0.74. Well, as a, des as a percent, that would be 74%. Do we have that over there? Yes, Ethan says yes. What letter, Ethan? F is correct. So number six was easy, it's letter F. We're running out of letters. Number seven, 38%. As the decimal, that would be 0.38. Is that over there? Okay, Addison says she missed four and five. Number four was A. Number five. 
was K. So, and we're on seven. And Ethan says seven is L, and he's right. Number seven is L, 0. 0.38. Whew. Number eight. If we change that to a decimal, it would be 0. 0.158. Is 0. 0.158 over there? J. J, that's right. Number eight, J. Okay, we're rolling through these. Number nine. 3.66 as a percent, it would be 366%. Do we have that over there? B. B, yep. Number nine is B. There's a false one, right? They gave us too many so that we might falsely choose one. I would not be the correct one because they didn't move their decimal on that one. Okay, I is very similar to B, but no decimal was moved. All right, number 10, the last one of these. 0 0.054, as a percent, it'd be 5.4%. Do we have that? N. N, and there it is. We got those done. Hopefully everybody's got that written down. We ready to move on? Okay, all right. Now, here comes the tricky stuff. Here's where we have to kind of write out the um, number sentence and then figure out what we need to do. Remember the word is always means equals. The word of always means times. On these, I'm gonna let you cheat. Use calculator, okay? So if you have a phone handy that has your calculator on it or if you have a calculator handy, we can do that. So let's go through this. All right, number 11. Blank is means equals 20% of means times 90. So on this one, we're going to take 20% times 90, but we have to change our percent to a decimal, which makes it 0 0.20 times 90. Calculator, go. Who's got it? That's right, Ethan. The answer for number 11 is 18. Number 11, answer is 18. 0.20 times 90 is 18. Number 12. This one says 12 is, that means equals, zero or some percent times 60. Okay. Where's my where's my energy drink this morning, Ethan? Okay. Um, I already had it. I had some coffee. Okay. So on this one, since there's a blank next to our multiplication, that means we actually have to divide. The number over here on the equal sign all by itself is the number that gets divided. So when you do it, you're going to take that and put that in first in your calculator. That's a terrible divide line, divide sign. So 12 divided by, and then the other number that they give us over there, 64. Okay, there's our decimal answer. What would be our percentage? Take your answer and multiply it times 100, and that will give us our percent. Yes. So our answer to number 12 is 18.75%. Everybody see how we got that? When we need to know percent at the end, after we divide, we have to multiply our answer times 100. Okay, number 13. 336 is equals, once again, it's another one of those percent ones, percent of 48, some percent of 48. So once again, we're going to take this number and divide it by this number. 
and then take our answer and multiply it times 100. 336 divided by 48 times 100. Yes, that's right, Atlee. Okay, so when we do that, we got seven, and then you take seven times 100, and that gives us 700%. So number 13, our answer is 700%. Four more problems, here we go. Nine is or equals, okay, now we got 25% of a number we don't know. Okay, so this time they gave us the percent, but they didn't give us the start number here, okay? So in this one, now we change our percent to a decimal first, which is 0.25. And then we always take that number that is over here, take this divided by whatever our percent change to a decimal is. So nine divided by 0.25. Yes, Atlee, right again. When we get that, we get it on our calculator, we have our number equaling 36. And unless this number is in the 100% zone, your answer on these will be larger than this number. So to figure out whether you got it right, check your answer. If this is larger than this, you're good. The only way this would be less than this if our percentage was over 100%. Okay, let's look at the next one. They move to the percent of increase and decrease. Okay, these are a little, these are two step problems, if you can recall. The first step you got to do is you got to find the amount of change. So you take your, first, your two numbers, 24 to 30, that's the number. So we subtract these two numbers. Whichever one is larger, you subtract the smaller one from it. Okay, so you take 32 or 30 minus 24. When I do that, I get six. That becomes my amount of change. If you remember our formula, the amount of change goes over the original, uh, original number or original amount. Okay, there's our formula. So when I get the amount of change here, I put that on top. And then the original amount is the first number that is on the list. So it's going to be 6 divided by 24. Okay, and you got the decimal answer, but they want to know the percent. So after we do that, 6 divided by 24 and get 0.25, we have to multiply it times 100 to get our percent. 25 percent. Make sure we put our percent sign with that. The answer to number 15. Okay, number 16 is the same way. I'm going to give you a moment and let you try to do it here. Okay, 50 to 37. Tell me what the percent of change is here. So find the amount of change. 50 minus 37. And then divide that amount of change over the original amount, which was 50. I then multiply your answer by 100 to get your percent. You aha. Good job, Ethan. You got the percent right on that one. Times it by a hundred, Ad Addison. Oh, you're missing something.
we should got the answer of 26%. Okay, when you take 50 or 13 divided by 50, that'll give us 26.26 and multiply it times 100 and that'll give us 26%. Okay, now the last one's tricky because they don't tell us the second number, but they did give us the original amount and they gave us the percent of change. Seventy-six to a number equals twenty-five percent. Okay, so on this one, we're going to have to work it in kind of a reverse fashion. Percent is point two five. Okay, we know the original amount. That was seventy-six. We know what our percent of change was. That was 0.25. Now to find out what our original number is, we actually are going to take, let me think about this. I believe we're gonna take 76 times 0.25 and that will give us the amount of change. Let's do that right now. 76 times 0.25. Okay, yes, all right, there's the first step. That gave us the amount of change, but then we have to take this number, it says it increased. So what was the number that it increased to? So we take this amount of change number and then add it to 76. Yes, so our answer gets to be 95. So the answer for number 17, 95. Okay, Addison said she missed number 14. Uh, the answer to number 14 was 36. <laughs> and yes, Ethan put that down for her there. Okay, do we have any more questions? You guys got all the answers today? Make sure you get those turned in to me and we'll be good. Uh, I will be communicating with you next week about any assignments that I may not have tur had turned in by you, okay? So you'll see lots of grades be coming up here and then, um, uh, anything that you haven't gotten turned in to me, I will be sending an individual uh, email out to you on what hasn't been turned in. Um, what was I going to say? I think I've put in almost every single assignment so far. I just haven't got all the grades in there. So, except for these last ones this week. If you need to have a Zoom meeting specific with me, an individual Zoom meeting with me next week, to help you go through an assignment, I am more than willing to do that. You need to email me and let me know, okay? So if there's something you don't have done and you don't remember how we do it, then send me an email and say, hey, listen, let's get together and do an individual email, uh, Zoom meeting. Let's get it done, okay? Because next week's the last week. I'm not going to assign any assignments next week. We're just catching up on anything we don't have done, okay, guys? All right. Anybody have anything else they need to add for the good of the cause? All right, we're almost there. We're running to the end of the week here. We got about seven more school days left to get this done, okay? Then you can have your summer. Whatever that's gonna look like. Spending more time at home, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Atlee says, I'm getting out and doing something on, on the farm or something, man. I'm tired of sitting at home. Oh, yeah. I've probably watched all of Netflix by now. <laughs> yeah, every single thing you can watch on Netflix, you probably could watch that already. Okay. Well, uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. 
Um, be expecting that worksheet for tomorrow, okay? All right, bye guys.